Hey guys, welcome to Trailer Talk. I know it's been a while. I've been busy with, you know, horror games and GTA marathons and all and trying to finish the Wonderful 101. And I'm still swamped in shit that I got to do, but it's been too long since the last episode of Trailer Talk, so I decided to do a Trailer Talk anyway. Tokyo Game Show just happened. I got some trailers here f that were I guess shown at Tokyo Game Show. Um, or some of these games were there at least. Uh, I don't know. These are a few Japanese games that I think look really, really fucking cool. Just so you know that, you know, the Japanese game industry is still alive and well and making really cool stuff. Um, well, let's get started. If you like the video, it please give us a thumbs up. But the world... If you like trailer talk, no please spread the word. Actually existed, not Leave a comment below on trailers you want to see. It has to be kept secret. Capcom Online Games. That's right. So if you remember the PlayStation 4 launch event, this is one of the games they first showed off there, right? It's called Deep Down. It's from Capcom. Some people suspected it to be somewhat related to Dragon's Dogma. But um, no, this is its own thing. And uh, it's kind of a confusing thing, so try to stick with me here. This doesn't look very medieval fantasy -y. And I think that's because this is actually uh, like an Assassin's creed -y type game, you know? Where it's like set in the future, but then you're going into these virtual worlds or something. I shall never see All I know is once you get into the game, it kind of looks like Dark Souls. Which is fine by me because I love I Demon Souls and Dark Souls. But there's yet another twist. Uh, this is a multiplayer or a cooperative dungeon crawler. There may be randomized dungeons, I'm not entirely sure. But it's also, and this is new news, this game is free to play. I don't even know what that means. But check check this out. Check out this gameplay. Check out this gameplay. So, so first of all, all right. All right, the first thing I got to say is this shit's like compressed to hell, you know? You know, a, a 1080p next generation game, which I think this one runs at 60 frames a second, looks a lot better than what you're seeing in Trailer Talk. But hey, you know, maybe we'll get there someday where we, we'll be able to, you know, make Trailer Talks have, like, you know, uncompressed 1080p 60 frames a second footage. But hey, I'm here just to talk about games. I want to show some footage here because from what I could see in actual um gameplay footage that was released in Tokyo Game Show because it was playable there. Like, it looks like there's some location-based damage, like in something like uh, Resident Evil 4, which is cool because it's, it's still a melee game like a Dark Souls, but I guess you, there's str strategy to where on the body maybe you're hitting the enemy. I saw him, like, stab, like, a kneecap, and the guy kind of stumbled, which seemed cool. Yeah, but you can see some of that here. Just look at the reactions of when they get hit. Come at me, freaks! Everyone who played the game is saying the thing looks fucking gorgeous. Which, again, it's kind of hard to tell here in this trailer. But, man, this music's pretty sweet. But, yeah, this looks a lot more like Dark Souls than something like uh, Dragon's Dogma, which is what a lot of people originally thought. But yeah, it's weird. A multiplayer or cooperative dungeon crawler that's free to play and is also kind of Assassin's Creed with its lore. Oh. Has me interested, you know? I like killing dragons. This looks like the dragon fight from that original trailer. To an extent. Again, this is this could be this game seems like it could be Capcom chasing the success that it it got with Monster Hunter. You know, yet again, that's what Dragon's Dogma seemed like, and that's what half the games coming out of Japan these days seem like. So, uh, hey, you know, a more, a, a, a fucking Monster Hunter game for next generation hardware could be pretty fucking sweet. 
called deep down. I Let don't know. Give you a little advice. Drop it. For your own sake. Oh, what do you think? Welcome back. I really like Dragon's Two Dogma. Just came for you. Hmm. Oh, it's dead. the same trailer, by the way. Did you open these? Don't ask me, man. All I know is, I think it looks pretty sweet. And this next trailer, is a game I'm very much excited about. Don't be fooled by Bethesda. This is very much a Japanese-developed game because it's from Shinji Mikami's Sebastian studio. What's this is their first there? game. Uh, and I saw Checking. this behind closed doors at E3, and it looked really, really cool. Uh, you might know Shinji Mikami as a crea creator of Resident Evil. Um, more recently, he directed Vanquish over with Platinum Games, but now he has his own studio, and he's making a. Well, he was also responsible for Resident Evil 4. Where the hell is everyone? He's making a game that's no very much left in looks cars. like Resident Evil 4, which no is a really good thing in. because Resident Evil 4 is one of my favorite games of all time. Might even be in my top ten these days. It smells like blood. And stay sharp. Resident Evil 5 was good, but you know, it wasn't Anybody exactly there? 4. This is and 6, you know, can suck a dick. It's actually a little bit like, um... It still has, like, some pretty crazy or strange supernatural elements to it. But it seems a lot more, um... A lot less ridiculous than Resident Evil sort of got. Which I guess is cool. It seems to be the horror seems to be a little bit more psychological, um, a little bit more like a Silent Hill game. It definitely looks slower paced. In interviews, he, he sort of puts down modern day survival horror games. Talks about how, how much like survival these days, and there's going to be more mechanics in this game that sort of stretch the play of them. But you know. I'm never, I'm always gonna, gonna show an Evil Within trailer when I get the chance because it's definitely one of my most ex anticipated games of 2014. This is another one, by the way. Oh, man. This is, of course, Dark Souls 2. Man, 2014 is gonna be so good. Between this shit, Deep Down, Evil Within, uh, fucking Witcher 3, Dragon Age 3. Be some good ass game. So I played this at E3. It was very difficult, but it was cool. I, I'm I'm excited. I really like Dark Souls, and I'm glad we don't have to wait. You know, I, I don't have to go out and buy a PS4 to play this because it's still current generation. I, th I also think it's launching with the PC. The PC version is launching with the console versions this time. This fucking enemy. I remember this guy at E3. I like the music here. It's creepy. Metal Gear Solid. Man, 2014 is gonna be crazy. I'm gonna be uploading another trailer talk very soon with maybe some more trailers from TGS. I would love to show more Metal Gear here, but every time they release Metal Gear footage, it's like, you know, fucking 40 minutes long and not really conducive to trailer talk. Dark Souls 2. I can't wait. It makes me nervous just thinking about it. those games, man. They're so brutal. Alright, what do we got? One more here. Threw in a fourth one just because it's been a while. <laughs> oh, and it's a goodie. So this is a uh, this is a, a new game in the Yakuza series, which I know we didn't get five, and we also didn't get Yakuza Kinzon, which was an early PS3 game, also set in feudal Japan. But this it just looks so fucking cool. I had to throw it in a trailer talk. I don't know if we'll ever get it. Actually, I'd be really sad if we didn't get it. 
But I like the Yakuza series. And I always forget that. Like, uh, you know, we're not getting five, but that's okay. And then I and then I see these trailers and I'm like, man, I love Yakuza because it's so goddamn ridiculous. Look at this shit. Look at this. That's pretty cool. So the combat mechanics with, I think, each iteration have been getting better and better. And, and I don't think they were that great in Kenzon from what I played at the demo many times. But, but this shit right here looks pretty slick. Let me show you. Right slash, slash, dodge, slash. Ooh, a little bit of crowd control. Man, looks pretty slick. These games are so over the top and melodramatic and then completely goofy in the best possible ways. <laughs> Lightning swords? Of course. Why not? What is going on here with these cards on the side? Look at, what is that, a sphere grid? Hey, anything that develops... Is that Haruka? Why? It's, they're, they're different characters. What the fuck is going on here? Uh, the developing of, of your skills has got, again, not uh, ever been very deep in a Yakuza game, so anything that where they try to deepen it a little bit would be nice. Also, every Yakuza trailer is the same. It always starts out, you know, kind of showing off the, the, the some of the fighting abilities of the new character or whatever, and then it starts switching to, like, check out our detailed-ass environments, motherfucker, which is kind of what's cool about the Yakuza games. You know, kind of, and then they start showing mini games. The fucking mini games. What's cool about the Yakuza series is, is you know, a lot of people like Grand Theft Auto because the environments are very detailed. But you know, I honestly don't care about a really detailed LA. You know, I've been to LA many times. Where I haven't been is to Japan, especially feudal Japan. So I like to see kind of that living, breathing world in a in a place that's very foreign to me. You know what I mean? But what the fuck is going on? Gotta go back. We gotta see this in slow mo. Oh, are you gonna get to sumo in this game? Uh, I guess it's also cross play on Vita, which is not surprising. Everyone's trying their best to like make that Vita a relevant thing in Japan. <laughs> He's in the sumo. Oh, I love him. What's so silly about the, the feudal kind of spin-off series is that they have all these characters that are kind of in the modern one, and then you're it's kind of like you're playing as their descendants. Like... I don't know. I'm gonna be sad if this doesn't come out over here. I think the zombie one was a chance, a desperate attempt to make people in the West care about Yakuza, but that game kind of sucked, so... Oh, man. Anyways, that's it for Trailer Talk. I know it's a little bit longer than usual, but again, I haven't done one in a while. Uh, if you like Trailer Talk, please give us a thumbs up. Please try to spread the word. Tell people about Trailer Talk. That'd be great. Spread the word around the internet. Tell your friends. Um, I'm going to get back to doing these weekly, uh, or twice a week is the goal. So I'll probably have another one up uh, early next week. And uh, anyways, i got to go. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment below if you liked it. If you want to see me talk about a particular trailer and whatnot. Anyways, peace out.